I feel like after Crypto Man t- taking a tumble, all of a sudden AI got hot. Um, do you think that we are in an AI bubble with every venture capitalist trying to deploy capital to AI startups, or do you think we're just now seeing like the golden age and it's only going to get bigger as time goes yeah. on? Yeah, yeah, you guys are asking all of the, the right questions here. I don't know that I have all of the right answers. But what I will say is I don't know that we're in a bubble. I don't know that we're in a bubble, but I will say we're definitely in a hype cycle. Right? Okay. We're definitely in a hype cycle. Um, uh, 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 Altman is playing a role in that. Elon is playing. A, everyone is playing a role in this hype cycle. I mean, just creating, ginning up this energy around um, AI. I think with respect to a bubble, to directly answer your question, with respect to a bubble, I just don't know because... Um, let me equate it to uh, 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 the gold rush in the 1800s, right? That's the way I think about it. And some people have used this analogy. Let me use this analogy. Remember what they said about the gold rush. They said the people who sold the shovels, the people yeah. who sold the ax- sold the axes, um, Levi's and Strauss Levi's. Created, yeah. created itself because of the gold rush. It was the infrastructure people that made more money. Wells Fargo as a bank was literally created um, by two men, Wells and Fargo, uh, because of the gold rush. So it's the people who had support of the effort that actually all prospered. Very few of the 300,000 people that moved west to be a part of the gold rush really took advantage. So what we're seeing now is actually not so much of a bubble because we're not seeing these startups, these small, all of these small startups just get money out the wazoo. We're seeing the infrastructure companies grow. Now, I would say because of the hype, the infrastructure companies are all buying GPUs and buying tech. So we're seeing the infrastructure companies grow. I think once we get into the bubble is when you see, you know, Joe's Shrimp Shack Emporium getting $4 million to do an AI version of a, point of sale system, right? Gotcha. Okay. Um, that's when you're like, okay, um, we've jumped the shark here. But I think that we're I think that we're in a hype cycle. And then the last thing I'll say to this is the same way as the dot com bubble, um, we uh, it was a big crash. I was at Motorola at the time and it was a big crash during the dot com bubble. But what we didn't know was the pervasiveness by which the internet would be in the future. Right. Yeah. So while there was a bubble and a crash, the Internet um, not only got bigger, but it became more pervasive. Good luck buying a car now that's not connected to the Internet. Good luck buying anything electronic yes, that's not connected to the Internet. I think the same thing is going to happen with AI. Like there will be a bubble. There will be a bubble and there will be a crash. But AI will exist as one of the more pervasive technologies. We want to thank you for coming. Uh, appreciate your time. Before you leave, can you just talk about what your current position is? And you're working with uh, Bezos, Jeff Bezos, right? Um, foundation. So, yeah, what, what does that entail? Yeah, absolutely. Listen, it's my pleasure. I enjoyed this conversation. Um, um, so I'm the head of AI and data at the Bezos Search Fund. Um, the Bezos Search Fund is, is a $10 billion um uh impact investment fund that jeff bezos stood up you you guys interviewed uh and jones who got 100 million um from that um uh, and so what we think about is the decisive decade when it comes to climate and nature um so we think about climate and we think about uh nature conservation and so across the board there is a lot of so we're we we only will we will only exist for the next eight years now so it's the decisive decade 2020 to 2030 my job is across um, all of you know energy innovation, decarbonization, agriculture, um, uh, the built environment, all of these sectors, uh, nature, biodiversity, all of these sectors uh, that impact the world and impact the world that we're living in. Um, my job is to think through um, the underpinning of AI, how AI and the uh, innovations of AI will impact uh, to work there. So my job is basically to bring AI to help solve climate and nature problems. That's oh, incredible. We got the right guy. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it. Thank you, man. Um, I'm Thank sure we'll so be in much. contact soon and uh, keep up the great work. My pleasure. Thank you all. And same to you. Same to you all.
We need you back again. I appreciate you. Anytime. Appreciate you, man. We, we'll be in contact.